Hello, this is Coach Angela, and we're going to do a tr video training on meetup.com, finding your way around, and hopefully this will enhance your user experience. So let's start right away in with a screen share, and you can follow along with me. Now you see my mouse, it's kind of big here. So this is meetup.com. And when you're logged in, if you're not logged in upper in the upper right-hand corner here, see where my mouse is moving, you'll want to log in. Okay. And then to get to Liberal Boomers, the reason these two are the top for me is because I'm an organizer for both of these. But you'll find the group and you get to the page. So it lands you on the home page. See here in the upper left corner where it says home. Now, non-organizers, just regular members, can also schedule a new meetup, but then it'll land in the suggested, the suggested box right here. Okay, so there's seven upcoming ones. You can look at the past. It doesn't have a, a number like set, upcoming seven, suggested zero. There's a lot of past meetups, and you can see how popular different meetups were, what the attendance was, and what the rating is. Okay, so... The first thing I want to show you is, since we're on these tabs here, Upcoming, Suggested, Past, and Calendar, if you can see my mouse right here. If you click on Calendar, you can look at kind of a wall calendar type format, and you can look at the month at a glance, which is kind of cool, because we have different things we're coordinating now besides just the coffee tea and conversations twice a month so we're doing more social events we're starting a southern suburb group next month in May so if you click this button it takes you to May scroll down you can see there's a South Metro Boomers group that we're starting okay so that's the calendar so I'll go back to upcoming okay so let's look at the members look at the very top row see this top row here members this is the members tab Okay, now you can look at all members and you can find a member by using this search box. But if you can't remember their name, then you can go down here and say, click on name and it's alphabetical. So we have 191 members. It's alphabetical. So if you say to yourself, well, I can't remember her name, but it starts with an A. Oh, yeah, Andrea or whoever. So you can look at it that way. You can also date joined if you want to see who has joined lately. So this is by reverse order of who was the, the latest to join. So this person joined two days ago, this person April 8th, April 7th, April 7th, etc. So you can, you can sort that way. So you can sort alphabetically by name, date joined, last visited, so and then connection to you and then find a member. So that's a way to find your way around the members. Now if you wanted to email someone, you just click on their name and then it takes them to the profile and then send email right here. You see my cursor below her name just slightly. Okay. Now let's look at sponsor or the organizers. So if you scroll down, let's just go back home so we're always at the home page. Scroll down, look on the left-hand side. You can always click about about us, and this is a, a pop-up box that um, is the description of the group. Okay, group reviews. You can read upcoming meetups, past meetups, organizers. So if you want to, and three more. So if you want to just click on organizers, it takes you to the leadership team, which is six members. So it's myself, Randy who's heading the coffee, tea, and conversation groups on Saturdays, Daphne, Will, Robin, and Susan. Okay, so that's the leadership team. And same thing, if you, wanna, if you want to email us, just click on somebody's name and then email, well, actually, because this is myself, it's not going to show it. Let me do Randy. So you click on the person you want and then send email. And if you want to send it to all of the organizers, there's a way to do that. I think you just click on the contact button and it'll send it to all of us. 
I want to show you something kind of cool. If you keep scrolling down on the left hand side, you'll see sponsors and perks. We only have two perks, but if you look at, <clears throat> you can offer a perk or you can just check out what our perks are. <clears throat> so it's usually a local business giving a discount or an offer for, especially for our group members. So Scott was attending pretty regularly, even though he's not actually a baby boomer, just like myself, but we have a strong affinity to baby boomers. Okay, so that's sponsors. Photos, and this is, and there's several albums. So this is a meetup group photo album, dinner and conversation at Merle's. So sometimes you can have several photos for one event and you can put them into an album and you can also tag people. So let's look at coffee, tea, and conversation. And this is an album. Play slideshow, all sizes. You, so there's some tabs there. So you see on the right hand, upper right hand corner, see where my cursor is? You can click on the photos like this and then you can tag them. See this, these people were tagged. It just means that you can hover over the person and if they're not tagged, you can down here on the bottom kind of middle here, tag this photo, this blue button. You can click on that. And then it'll take you, I'll show you, because I know that guy. Tag this photo, scroll back up, click on the face, and then you can type the person's name. This is Tom Messina. So you start typing the name, and the person shows up. Tag this person. And if he, and then click done in the upper left corner, you can see the black button done. Okay, now you hover over it, and this is Elaine. I'm not going to tag her right now. I think you get the idea. Okay, so that's photos. So let's look at the very top row of these tabs again. Pages is just the description page. So you won't be doing anything with that. Discussions, this is the forum. The forum is a place for everyone to start a discussion thread. So start a new discussion. See my cursor swirling up here right below liberal boomers open-minded so start a, a new discussion right here start a new discussion and then there's three pages of discussion so you can scroll down you can see who was started by how many replies how many views etc so you're just gonna click on that and then you can read the thread of the discussion okay so you can certainly participate in starting a new discussion and hopefully this video will encourage more traffic and more eyeballs looking at this because this is a good way to keep in touch in between the meetings. Now this is interesting. If you hover your mouse over this more, you'll see full polls, files, promote stats, and report this group. So let's click on polls. You can add a poll. Regular members can also add a poll. And then there's open polls and closed polls. And the closed polls are the ones discussion topic voting vote for a topic 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 what should our topic be okay the open polls one of them I started is what part of Denver Metro do you live so let's click on that and you'll see how people voted kinda interesting South Metro is 13 votes okay so that's polls files okay you can add a file. Regular members and organizers can add a file. So you're just going to click on that. And then if you want to, or if you just want to see what other people have posted, Mary posted something about the Keystone Pipeline. And she, she wrote a little description. And if you click on that, it downloads it, what you need to know. If you click on that, what you've downloaded. Oh, it opened in Explorer. I don't like that. Internet Explorer is not secure. I use Chrome. Volunteer jobs. Nothing left. Harper's Magazine. This is an article, online article. Co-owned companies. Robert uploaded this. So let's look at that. He loaded it in Word. Okay, and then you can see a list of products made by companies owned by Koch Brothers. If we buy these, we're supporting all the bad things Koch Brothers do. So this is the boycott list. Okay. And anybody can 
share files. So this is a way to share something that you stumbled on the web and you thought was interesting or something that you wrote yourself. Okay. Promote. If any of you have a website that you would like to add a link to our group, then I can help you with that. You can invite friends to meetup group if you have their emails. Choose friends from your email contacts or email friends directly. Uh, let's go back. Okay, and then there's printed things that you can print. Okay, for the meeting, like name tags and whatnot. Okay, so that's promote your group. Stats is just shows people joining. So if you hover your mouse over the graph, like it says, group joins five, group joins four, group joins two. So it's just kind of interesting. Members join, going. You can play around with that if you're kind of an analytic person. Okay, and we don't want to report this group because we're not doing anything naughty. Group tools. Uh, this may be for organizers. I'm not sure. And then your profile. So let's get into. Let's click on. I'm going to show you how to modify the notifications. If your email boxes, inbox is flooded with notifications, I'm going to show you how to turn those on and off. You have control over that. So click on the arrow for with your picture here and under settings right here, it's red settings, click on that and see this general tab is white because we're in the general, this is the page we're on. So you can edit your your interests or your bio. Let's click over here, look on the left hand side, emails and notifications. So I'm going to click on that and then that turns white. See that? So we're in meetup group email and notifications and this will list, I'm in over 30 groups. So let's look at liberal boomers open-minded. If you click, look on the right hand side, email and notifications, see my cursor? Click on that. And then scroll down and you've got all these choices to either check or uncheck. Send me updates about. So I don't want to know every time a new meetup is announced because I check it pretty regularly on my own. I don't want to know when a change is made, comments, uh, you know, comments on a meetup I'm going to. Somebody says, oh, I won't be able to make it because I'm out of town. And then the organizer says, yes, well, see you next time. Thanks for letting us know. If you don't want to get emailed every time somebody makes a comment, then uncheck that. So you can ch just read each of these things and choose what you want to check or uncheck as far as getting notifications. And just go down. Do you want notifications every time they're set, sent, once a day, or don't send me reminders at all? Do you want to get notified when photos are uploaded for a meeting that you went to? Do you want to be notified if you were tagged in a photo? Do you want to be notified if comments on a photo were uploaded, was was tagged in or commented on, okay? And then down here you can go organizer broadcasts. And these I do have checked. Special announcements from organizers to members and announcements from organizers or event hosts about a specific meetup. So that's what I've chosen, okay? And then save settings and it collapses it again. So what I mean by collapse is when you click on that, it expands it. I need to uncheck all these. So each one, you can change by each of your groups. You can change the email settings for each of your groups. Okay? Pretty cool, huh? Social media. You can connect your social media accounts to Meetup. So for example, I'll show you how. LinkedIn, and I should be logged in. Okay, allow access, and voila. Now my LinkedIn is connected to Meetup. So these three are connected. And if I choose to, when I RSVP for a Meetup, I can choose to announce it across my social media platforms. And you can uncheck them. You can have them all disconnected if you want. My feed, okay, that's a Hootsuite thing. I don't want to confuse you. Payments made, if you actually have attended meetups where payment was required, here is a list of all the, the meetups that you've paid for to attend. And then apps is nothing. Okay, so back to liberal boomers. OK, 
Okay, so we've covered pretty much everything. Um, the, the tabs across the top are each pages, and this is where you can have fun with the polls. Okay, and remember to email a, a fellow member. You just click on members, you find the member, Randy. Okay, you just start typing it in, and it pops up suggestions. You find the member, and then you just send them an email. That just about covers a ba the basics of finding your way around. You can just kind of look. People in this meetup are also interested in interests, so they're always trying to expand your participation, but don't get overwhelmed by that stuff. Okay, let's get back to get off of screen share so I can say goodbye. Thanks for joining me, and I hope this helps you enhance your user experience and have more fun with Meetup. I'll see you next time.